David married a stunning young woman named Ting, who was only 20 years old this year. She carries herself with grace and speaks eloquently. Her large eyes, long slender eyebrows, beautiful lips, and a slender oval face make her seem as if she stepped right out of a pink. Her figure is svelte, moving with the lightness and grace of a willow tree. Her visage appears meticulously sculpted with each line revealing natural beauty. Her eyes sparkle like stars, and her skin is as white as snow, seeming to capture moonlight. Ting's beauty is not just superficial, it emanates from within, radiating a natural grace that is irresistibly attractive. Since David and I hit it off immediately and became good friends, I got to know Ting quite well. Once, when my company decided to send me on a business trip to Shanghai, Ting mentioned she had never been there and insisted on joining. I glanced at David who looked hopeful. It's hard for any man to refuse the company of such a beauty. David entrusted Ting to my care, emphasizing that I look after his wife well. The train ride to Shanghai took over six hours, during which Ting's sweet fragrance was intoxicating, stirring the sense of longing within me. Yet, I reminded myself of her status as David's wife. Suddenly, we encountered a traffic jam, likely due to an accident. As we approached, we saw a horrifying scene a person lying under the wheels of a car. Ting, frightened, threw herself into my arms. I instinctively held her tight, her gaze fixed on me, avoiding the gruesome sight. That evening, after we arrived at the hotel arranged by my company, Ting diligently shielded me from drinking too much. She stayed by my side until dinner was over. In the silence of the elevator, I found myself harboring inappropriate thoughts. At her room's door, she invited me in with a smile. Captivated by her charm, I followed without a second thought, finding myself at a loss for words in her presence. Her smile was too alluring, and my mind was restless with unwelcome thoughts. As we talked and laughed, she suggested places in Shanghai I could take her the next day. Fueled by the alcohol and the day's intimate encounter, I confessed my admiration for her. Ting blushed but did not show anger, perhaps because of her loyalty to David, my friend. She didn't know how to respond when I impulsively embraced her, but she did not resist. On the way back, I was filled with regret. Ting was my friend David's wife, and I felt a deep sense of guilt. David had prepared a lavish dinner, waiting for us with my wife and son. The guilt I felt in David's presence was indescribable. Ting, oblivious to my inner turmoil, enthusiastically told David about how well I had taken care of her in Shanghai, making David thank me for looking after his wife. Perhaps he should thank me, because that night, under me, Ting told me that David had never taken her to such heights. 